finger, <laughs> put my foot. I'm you gotta not. do the. The, oh, yeah. the finger guns. Yeah, the finger guns. <laughs> finger guns. <laughs> Double guns. Dual wielding. What's happening? Corey here. And Emily. So you happy. You blow it off and put it back in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and put it in your holster. That, that reminds me of, uh, you've seen uh, Happy Gilmore, right? Yeah. Shooter McGavin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he got, was all mad there towards the end. <laughs> he just like, did it all fast. What's happening, everybody? What's up, Woodford? I'm having mic troubles. And Classic. around. What's up, Woodford and people? And, and what's up, Woodford? Yes, and Kentucky and world. That's right. Uh, All y'all. I'm pretty sure people in China have seen our show. It shows it up in the, in the, in the numbers. But we have, we're, all, we're statewide. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. We have some Canadians. We do. We do. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, I mean, in, in the surrounding cities, we kind of, uh, we boost a little bit everywhere sometimes. Depends Don't on the content. Secret. They just Depends tune the in. It's organic, Corey. They just oh, right. Sure, sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just come over. Like, you're in uh, Cincinnati, and you just come across. You're uh, in China, and you just have <laughs> <to> <laughs> that's a, it's yeah, fine. That's, that's, <laughs> that was a much better one, yes. Uh, huge, huge show. Uh, I mean, I can't tell. I can't. Uh, I mean, we're not just worldwide. We're huge. 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 We're so big. Um, <laughs> we're, we're the best show. Oh. Uh, we, we, it's... I think of Alec Baldwin. I know, yeah. I know who you're talking about, but you can't now with Saturday Night Live. You think of Alec Baldwin. You can't do an impression of Donald Trump. You do an impression of Alec Baldwin doing do an Don, impression. Yeah, of exactly. It's funny how that works. The, I'm a huge Saturday Night Live uh, SNL, SNL fan. And, All the uh, characters are so good. They're, and yeah. when women do men, and you know, like vice versa, yes. it's like it's amazing oh, how they gosh. get into these characters. Will Ferrell as Janet Reno was some of the best. Well, that's the like the '90s SNL to me. Like late '80s, uh, uh, '90s SNL was just was just golden, man. I mean, th- those guys are. Think about who we got from that era. It's just amazing. I know. Uh, and Keenan, he's still going. Strong. He's still going strong. He was just on the stage show this morning, riding a what roller coaster. Yeah, that was so random. He's the other morning. You mean because we're obviously filming? Oh right. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Yes, uh, it was last. <laughs> Sometime last week. <laughs> we, we're breaking the 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 illusion. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Thursday morning he was on the Today Show, uh, riding the new Jurassic Park roller coaster. For it being today, you had to yeah. think about which day it was. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Or yeah. it's uh, <laughs> or what's, what time is it? <laughs> I think it's I think it's opening up in Disney. I think is where they were. Um, and I'll be going to Disney. It's been the first time in gosh since I was. I don't know, five, four. When are you guys going? December. Nice. And uh, so my aunt. You're getting on the airplane. I'm so proud of you. I know. I don't. I'm not excited about it. Uh, I, I, look, I, I've had my time with airplanes. Okay, like I've done it. I've done the whole thing. I've gone from Japan to uh, uh, America. I mean, that's one of the longest flights. Like, yeah. I don't know what it is. 14, 18 hours. Who knows what it was? The sun. We went so far. Like the sun came up. Like not, but not like. Because it was daytime, is that like we were flying. flying into it? Yeah, it was Hawaii crazy. It was probably the longest flight. Like you know, you have legs of stuff. Oh sure, yeah. That who I mean, when you start getting into multiple hours, it's the over the ocean is my, like I don't know. It's just it's horrible. It's all it's all, but I want Disney. I, but it's <laughs> I'm doing it for it's still still the fastest way to or the or the safest way to travel blah 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 I get it I get it all right look I have my hey, fears speaking of Disney somebody came into the chamber office the other day and it was the I felt like I said it was the best compliment Woodford County could ever get oh. he said he he was not from here and but he's an investor here he's okay. got some properties doing some oh, things here moving and, shaking. and yeah and he said he said Emily this place is like Disney and I was like wait my office you know like what like, and he was like <laughs> yeah. he was like Woodford County he was like you know it's just it's there's so much fun and you have you know you have it's probably like, about as big as Disney Disney's yeah. a, pretty much a <laughs> zip code true. right that's right then he was like you have your play parks he was like think about the horse farms and the bourbon distilleries and the wineries he was like he was like it's just like Disney here I was like that is the best compliment we could ever get we need we need his testimonial we it do. needs to be on a billboard we do pull us down put him up that's awesome. That is huge. Uh, yeah. Cause there is so much to do here. And I know this is technically Woodford weekends, you know, uh, but still like it's, it, there's just, there's so much to do. And, and it, I, I feel like people who we, uh, us who live here tend to forget that cause we see it, we're around it all the time. But like my, my in-laws are from, well, they're originally from Chicago, but then Texas and then now Tennessee and they're moving here. 
just because of how beautiful it is and just uh, there's every there's things to do there are still things that i haven't done and i live here same i mean it, it's weird i'm in tourism you're i mean you're in yeah. tourism like it's we yeah. call, call you in tourism we're bringing sure you yeah in. whatever you're, you're <laughs> i go to the meetings <laughs> uh so yeah man uh there's there's so much to do but i, I, I will say this i've done a lot of things Okay, I've done a lot of crazy things, all right, including a lot of them happened while I was in the military, some a little bit before while I was uh-huh. in, in college. In youth, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, in my youth, <laughs> my youth. Uh, so. <laughs> You're finding yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I need you and the gig girls. Uh, to determine. Yes, Jen Lindsay and Stephanie Bell to determine what I haven't done. Okay. I need you to find my lie. I feel like I know you. I feel like I got this. They're they're right good. They're they're really good. Let's let's take a look uh, at what they are. Okay. Surprise! This is the part three. This is this is this is it's exciting. I'm excited. Oh, it's great. It's awesome. Yes. We're here with two very uh, important people uh, when it comes to k- our kinetic sponsorship, and that is Miss Jen Lindsay and Stephanie Bell. Ladies, thanks you thank you for coming back for the third week in a row. Uh, I know your time is valuable, so. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honored that you're spending it with, with us here. We would rather be Thank nowhere you. else. Nowhere <laughs> else. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. So now you, both of you have to team up and guess my lie. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, and actually I didn't tell Emily as well. We'll give Emily a little chance too, to see what she, what she, uh, she would, I can't, I can't talk. I just can't talk. See what she thinks by the seashore. <laughs> All right, <laughs> uh, here we go. My three state. Okay, so real quick to reiterate, I'm saying three statements. You have to guess the lie. Okay, so there's going to be two truths and a lie. Here we go. First statement. Uh, this is tough because I'm going to say all these with a smile. Um, I once uh, force fed a seven-ish, I think, foot python in a bar. Helped them force feed it because it wasn't eating. Um, I once tweeted with Alec Baldwin back and forth. That's, that was crazy. And uh, this, uh, this is crazy. So I once uh, shut my brother's finger in a car door and they had to surgically reapply it, technically. It wasn't all the way off, but it was, they had to fix it. Those are my three statements. Which one's the lie? Um, I, I need some clarity yeah. on why there was a python in a ball. <coughs> and why they were feeding it. Sure. Great. This is great. Um, so I was in, well, first off, I can say I was in Japan. Okay, so it's not America. No, so that, that kind of gives <laughs> you a little. It's more it sense about why, right. maybe. Okay. So Japan, uh, it was like a yellow, white python, and the guy, we walked in there, and I, he had it all, no one was in there. It was just, it was like before hours. And he was like, my snake's not eating, and I kind of walked in on it. He's like, you need to help grab, so I helped hold it while he put it, and they had to like, you know. What they feed it. I think it was like a little a mouse, like a little you white had mouse. To like sh- shoot it down. The, guy, the guy did. I didn't. I just held. I held the thing. I held okay. the python okay. down because right. it so was squirming really bad, you know. But it was kind of wrapping around him a little bit. But yeah, so there. That's that's that story. All right. So there's the python. Python force fed what was python. The one in the middle? What was the middle? I once tweeted oh, with tweeted Alec, Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Like we, what I mean, did you tweet about? It was a short, very short conversation, but it happened. I. uh... I, it was in the military, and uh, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but he was, like, receiving questions. He was like, ask me, ask me anything. So I asked him, uh, who is Batman? And he replied, you are. You are Batman. And then and I was ecstatic. I couldn't believe Alec Baldwin answered my question. So, yeah. And then we have the brother's finger. Yes. Are you and the brother still friends? Yeah, of course. Okay, we good. we okay, were younger. So, I was in middle school. He was younger. He was a, like, uh, actually, he was in sixth grade. Because at the time, sixth grade was still elementary, yeah, elementary school. Smaller. We were in the parking lot of the Great old middle school, school down here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I, like, the scary thing is all of those are reasonably <laughs> believable. Reasonably, right? With you. With me? Sure. <laughs> I, I think number one's a lie. The, the python? The python? Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to go python. Both python? I want to see what Emily uh, what Emily thinks first. Okay. Okay, you got him. What Those do you think? Good. That's kind of a curveball on me. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
I feel like I've heard a lot of stories from you, but not some of these. Okay, but I do. Okay, so you were in the military, and one time you are telling a story about how you had, what you call that, sake, something? Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, so a little bit of a, a squirrel story. Habu sake uh, was, a, it's sake in like a big pickle jar, and it has some formaldehyde, uh, cinnamon sticks, and a dead habu viper coiled up inside with it's usually with its big mouth open and it's it's fangs so that yeah so that that i yes absolutely i had habu sake and you uh, said that was like nights. a nightly like like on a occasion that was more, a, more of a oh, i don't know, <laughs> I don't know yeah, that, too many times are we ready to get yeah it's time to end the night like it's <laughs> it's or, or it's a you, you always you have to do if you're first on the island to get to okinawa like you've got like everybody's got to try it at least once uh, it's, it's, you don't normally do it more than once, but there was some occasions where I did. That's, that story makes me think your first one about the snake. Force, force feeding, feeding a python. Because it, okay. it was like probably at a bar and you probably had one of those shots and the poor <laughs> python, I don't know, was in a cage somewhere and you had to help. No. I don't yeah. Know. I feel like that happened under Saki bombs. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, so I think that one might actually be semi- Right. Okay. okay. Um, and then tweeting with Alec Baldwin. Tweeting was the with Alec one. Baldwin. Gosh, I wish I could look this up because that's I so feel funny. Like, we mentioned Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true yeah. yeah. Um, I could totally see that happening. Um, <laughs> and then crazy. your brother's story. I mean, golly, that could that could very well be plausible. I, we're okay. two boys, you know. We're yeah. Crazy. Um. Okay. I feel like you have had a celebrity tweet off, okay. but maybe it's not Alec Baldwin. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna go with. Final answer. Okay, well I won't. Let's let's go back and we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the uh, what the girls guessed to. Okay. Okay. So the lie was actually uh, my brother's finger. Oh. He actually shut my finger in the door, <laughs> but it didn't. It just. It didn't break it off or anything, but oh. it was... Uh, well, that's yeah. a good day. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. I lost a finger now, but it needed to go anyways. Uh, so there we go. So the python oh, is real. <laughs> the python is real. Oh. It was in Okinawa, a, Japan. Did you get a picture of it? Uh, somewhere, there's a picture that exists with me and the guy, uh, who his snake, and there were two other guys, I think, there too, that... Yeah, that was wild. I, I don't know. I, I hopefully I didn't get anybody in trouble. <laughs> I, I probably should have thought they're about in, that at first. In yeah. Well, they're, who knows where they are now? No names. No names were named. It's it's anonymous. That's great. So no, the pythons were harmed. Yeah. In no, he needed to eat. He he wasn't eating. He was sick. He had to be. Good. And then uh, yeah, the Alec Baldwin thing totally true. That was I, yeah, I can see was ecstatic. Yeah. I was ecstatic about that. And then yeah, the brother finger. You guys. So yeah, there you go. So we'll tally up all the gold stars, all the all the gold points uh, here shortly. But but thank you so much, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. This so, was fun. This was fun. We gotta do this. Next, I think next game we'll do the whole we'll do the box thing where you have to put your hands in. Oh, you, or like you know how you drink through the straws? Have you seen that? No. One? I don't know why. Drinking I just through straws. That. That's it. So I, I, I like it. I like it. Right or or the <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah. The, oh god. Oh, oh oh. The cups. You don't know what it is. Yes, I like that. I do like that. I, uh, I, I think it. next show you all should eat cicadas. Ooh. I'd be willing to try a cicada for some kind of contest for, for something. Cicadas. I I I've, I think I've done that with scorpion, Scor like a. In like a sucker, they used to have those mm -hmm. in a sucker. That one, or or the one where you have to sit. Uh, that's a worm. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but yeah, but like you're in front of a box. Like there's a like a um, like a partition, but you can see the other one's face, and like you have to lift up the box, and it's some kind of crazy yeah, thing. Yeah, and you have to like stick your hand well, in. Well, no, you have to like make them believe that what's in front of you is what you're actually seeing. Oh, okay. But it's always weird. It's, it's always like something crazy weird. Stuff. You okay. can tell the truth and it still sound like a lie. So anyways, so that's the, that's the fun games that we're, we're going to start doing. It's fun. Uh, you guys down for doing some of those? We're down. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> back, back, to, back to the studio. Eh? You, you, so oh. I don't like to do the whole like a little bit of the truth. I, I want to make sure it is completely false. Stephanie has thrown me off. She, yeah. yeah she, her, her, and, her and Jen that definitely did that. Which is fine. A variation. But in no way. Actually, Kate, my brother, actually once shut my uh, finger in a car door. But it just, uh, it. Uh, thank goodness it didn't. Um, just black. It just, it. yeah, it, just, it definitely bruised, bruised it, it there. 
but no, yeah, Python. Oh, hope everybody's all right. Yeah. Wee, wee, wee. Um, yeah, on the pool table, had to string it out, hold it down, force feed it. You had to get it in there. Uh, in Japan, right? In, in, in Okinawa. Okay. So yeah. was it um, under under the influence of sake bum? Actually, no. It okay. was actually the beginning of the night, and I actually worked at that bar a little. Well, not w- I worked, but I DJed a little bit in behind there. Uh, of course you did. That and and, and then I was paid with, with uh, you know, free drinks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I should say. I don't know if that's something I should say. I, I, whatever, I'm out. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so yeah, yeah. So, oh, so, man. So I... <sighs> get it yes uh so yeah awesome gold stars we'll tally them up uh next episode or later on all the gold it's whose lines whose line is anyway rules i think right now it's just we'll tell you yeah it's just it's just all the points yeah yeah you you win uh so next coming up hopefully we're gonna do the the drink we're gonna have the three different like styrofoam cups and you've got to guess what they are let's do it yeah i know i kind of get a little a little frog in my throat when i think about it Boo. Does anybody want a surrogate for me? Does anybody want to? Yes, I was that <laughs> Well, and it can't, obviously with you, well, it, actually with you, it'd be easy because it obviously is not going to be alcohol. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like uh, sour milk, man. Ugh. So, that's not good for the baby. Yeah, that's not good for the, for the, you gotta think about the baby. That's right. You, you, I don't know. Well, you may not even, well, you should do it. There are some things you can. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure you'll find something I can get into. Well, I'll ask Katie. Katie will know what you're yeah, allowed to have. Yeah, she'll have the rules. Really Speaking of Speaking alcohol, of. why not? Black walnut wine. Yes. Dessert is... wine made from fresh shelled mm-hmm. black walnuts. Mm-hmm. They're walnut <gasps> so grove. So good. Uh, and their walnut grove is where they have all their festivals because oh, those so trees awesome. are. Planted String just lights, perfect. Planted perfect. Market yeah, lights, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So you gotta... Yep. Ooh, ooh, I can't tell. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. All right. Can you, will you tell people that I do not drink, even though the wine not sometimes is in my <laughs> I've scooted the table. I've scooted the table over. No, Emily does not partake. And if you want any proof of that, go back and look at our uh, uh, segment called Ghost Sips. Uh, she very, she failed miserably trying to fake like I she tried, was. I tried, you guys, I tried. Yeah, like, just like, it But was... we had a, we had a comment, like, does she actually oh, do it because the cubs? Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. just wanted to make sure everybody knows. Oh, of course. The baby is healthy. Healthy, and, healthy, uh, healthy. Healthy. Uh, <laughs> well, that doesn't help that you're healthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we, so she doesn't drink. Boy. But. <laughs> I am woman, hear me poor. <laughs> no, it's so cool. And it makes me, the reason I liked this one, I, pick, I, I wanted to show this one. We just watched uh, not too long ago uh, the Cruella movie, the, the Disney movie. Yeah. Loved it. So good. That's so like good. The only Disney movie where like cigarettes would be like a real part oh, of it. Oh, well, well. You know what I mean? Well. Like her big long. <laughs> yeah, and Cruella, it's got on the yeah. sleeve. I love this color yeah. and it's such a soft tee. What a good summer color to like a boat it is. shirt. It's, a per- it's perfect. I love it. I love it. it. Love it love Wild it. Side Winery. Well, it has all the good swag. So this is all their tumblers. And uh, and then also, of course, I have my favorite tumbler in my hand, uh, the Wine Not Tumbler. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's, take a, let's take a... What do you think? Black walnuts, do you Ooh. taste it? Ooh, it smells really good. Let's see. Let me see. What is this? What is, is this? Uh, no? It didn't. Yeah, it didn't have the, um, Ooh. the rating on it of... Of, of dried up. Sweet. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. But a dessert wine, so it should be pretty mm-hmm. sweet, naturally, by being Very a sweet. Isn't that funny? They have things that are made with berries and things that are made with nuts, and the nut one is really sweet. And some of the berry ones are not even ranked as high. Mm-hmm. Kind of mm-hmm. crazy. <laughs> what was that gurgle? <laughs> I'm, I'm slur. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really trying to taste it. Man, um, it, is very, it is sweet. It definitely is a dessert wine, but it's got a – it hits on the back of your tongue – and it kind of sits there, and the aroma. I guess it's the walnut, but I see. I don't eat walnuts, but it's very pleasant. Ooh, good. It's eighteen percent alcohol um, by volume. That's why it's in a smaller container, mm, and that's yes. what that also would be considered a dessert wine because it is a mm-hmm. sweeter. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's like um, God, what would it go? I feel like it would go with uh, um, like a chocolate like a, pie. I don't know. I mean, obviously, yes. Anything goes with you can. Throw a chocolate pie in there, but I'm feeling like a 
I feel almost feel like a cake. Something that isn't going to I feel like chocolate would compete with uh, with this a little bit. I feel like if I had like a something like a like a fluffy cake um, with like some mm-hmm. vanilla icing. Yeah. That would complement this this taste. Ooh. Like yeah. a derby pie that already has some like nut in it and chocolate in it. Sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Something or like, um, I don't know why this just hit my head, but like, you know, those dirt, those, the, you got the gummy worms and oh, it's like the yeah, dirt, yeah. like a gummy worm would taste really good with this. I feel like a gummy worm and then that, that, that whip, Mix. that whip and, oh, yeah. and, um, uh, Oreo, uh, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling to go with this. You would totally go with the kid's dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It comes in like those little yeah. individual packages you can make yourself. Or and people they're a make mess. them in the solo, like the little plastic solo cups at home. Yes. You would totally do that, Corey. That's me. That is so funny. Because after you have all this dessert wine, you got to go see Brett, right? I mean, you got to knock that out. You've got to, yes. You've got to, you got to keep your, I, I do a lot of work to keep the dad bot. Like that's, the, you know what I mean? Like that, I got to work it's really hard. Just to keep, it's Somebody's tough. My metabolism is, is gone, people. Is gone. No, the other day though, somebody said, I know you, you're, you're that guy. Remember that ribbon? Oh my gosh. I don't know what they were. He must confuse me with somebody else, but I definitely, and I was sweating profusely. So that, that, that helped. That was super, you know, like I'm a, I'm a sweater and some of you guys know people, guys, girls, people who just sweat. Sweat naturally. Yeah. They're sweat naturally. I, I am a sweater and it is so, it's 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 embarrassing. I'm out in public and like, what is, is he okay? Like you gotta think you see, I mean, if I was someone standing outside looking at me, I'm like, is he? Is he? Is he got a, is I hope he, he doesn't saying this, but William is too, and I'm the opposite. But they say that your guys are healthy. Like yeah. I, I could honestly go like walk a mile and like not break a sweat, and I don't say that like I, I, don't, feel, I well, don't break a sweat. <laughs> but it's like, um, well, yeah, yeah. but they say it's healthy for you too. To to sweat profusely. Yeah. So I probably am like dehydrated. Probably don't drink enough water. I probably it's probably all the things. Okay. Anyway, I'll go. I'll go with that. Uh, but no, Brett. This is uh, I believe this is part three. Of Brett's functionality exercises, you know, these exercises are everyday exercises uh, that will help you with everyday things. Climbing the stairs, box of cereal, lifting your kid up, uh, you know, everything, all that stuff. This stuff will help to make sure uh, you don't tweak something while doing that. So let's check, check it, out. it out. What's up, Woodford? This is my functional exercise number three, which is going to be kettlebell rows. Obviously, you can use anything, any kind of household item that weighs anything, but the biggest thing for this is your posture, okay? This is going to work on your posture, whether you're sitting behind a desk, whether you're actually an athlete, an overhead athlete, or you're just trying to put a box of cereal away for the next 10 to 15 years over your head. So, what you're going to do is going to work, grab these kettlebells, and what I tell my clients is to keep your elbows nice and tight, come back, and I want you to pinch your shoulder blades together and come back down. I like to do three sets of 10 with this, and you're going to keep your knees stabilized just like this, but really overemphasize pinching those shoulder blades together. Obviously, you can up the weight if you need to over time. Start low weight, high reps, like three sets of 10, three sets of 15 every other day. I love his. Every uh, time. Ashley, it's sad. I don't get to see him. So Ashley was after me. Uh, his, his, uh, he's, his model, his male model he's us- using in his, his exercises this, uh, this segment. His male mo- model. He, uh, <laughs> uh, Ashley's really funny. He, uh, uh, I've switched to um, Wednesdays and Fridays so that Katie is actually has she taken is starting it? to she's do it good. yeah so good, she's good. she's doing personal she's training with him with him and, yeah. and and we're all doing it together and oh, uh fun. she's she's jumping on the on the health train so she's doing really well and uh, i'm really proud of her so oh, uh that's so good yeah. when you guys can do it together there's so much accountability yes. there it makes it fun you got, you know accountability that's big for me yeah. because if I, I now it's i'm so busy i can just i would just skip it and be like yeah i'm busy right but no it's boom 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 every day and uh, and yeah, so so yeah, but I don't get to see Ashley anymore. Uh, he's because he was always after me on Tuesdays and, and Thursdays. I always look at it on the videos, and I'm like, "Golly, that guy has you know, someone's watching you, and then you're on video doing it, mm-hmm. and you're like, please, you know, like when he's doing the chair while they're like, oh gosh, <laughs> I'd be like, please don't let my, you know, yeah. please don't fall, please I've don't seen, let my, look yeah, at the body show. shake. Like, yeah, totally. He does such a good job. It was like, oh no, he he's no, yeah, he's 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 on it, he's on it, but. I need to be on it. I want to be on it, not only physically, but mentally. I need to get current.
on it. Get on those current events. So, Mm -hmm. what is happening, guys? Okay, so... Obviously, this weekend, if you have not yet gotten your father something or the man in your life or whatever, you know, if there's a father figure. Um, father figure. Yeah, whatever, man. A, it is Father's Day weekend. And so what a great time to celebrate. Um, so definitely make sure you shop local for that. There's tons of good things. Yeah. Um, whether it's golfing and golf lessons at, you know, Woodford Club. I could use that. I could also, or, I mean, you know, I'll ace. Ace Hardware, there's stuff there. I mean, shoot. Tons of stuff. Uh, uh, Amsden. <clears throat> uh, I've been highly addicted. We know. Katie, are you... Uh, is anybody, I've been highly addicted. No, 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 no. Not the bourbon bar. Oh. The coffee. Amsden uh, Coffee Club. Uh, <laughs> but it's the bourbon caramel frappuccino. Oh, okay. See? Yeah. I probably get it once a day. And those girls know. Exa- I, I walk in there and those girls... Well, no girls... wonder you haven't to go to bread. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, but see, I have to have something. Like I... Uh, and it's just... It's so... It's it is, just, yeah. It's, that it's does so sound good. delicious. So, um, so that's, yeah. That's awesome. Bluegrass Traditions has some really good guy stuff. Kyle Goble. Check oh, him out. He makes awesome things. He's got awesome great socks. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Ties. Crits. Crittenden's in Midway. Yep. Mm-hmm. So anyway, tons of good stuff. Um... So definitely check that out. Make sure if you're going to have, you know, take your father out. Weta Michael has done a Father's Day video. Um, so if you're going to grill out or cook out for him, check her video out. She's too. got great tips. Like mm-hmm. I have I was filming it thinking like, these are great tips. Like, you know, <laughs> like I went home and did them. So yeah. Um, so she's got some tips for you guys for Father's Day weekend. And then also, of course, it's Juneteenth. There is a, um, yes. there's a town hall starting Friday at noon with the library and the chamber. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have a great kind of panel that is going to talk about Juneteenth. Um, and then there's an event Saturday in Midway and then the 25th in mm-hmm. Versailles. But Correct. check that out. Um, obviously the, um, Woodford County, um, fair is still going yeah. on, so check that out. Oh, yeah. And then while you're out at the county park, definitely go to Falling Springs. Of course. Their splash pad is there. Um, my ki- I took my kids last weekend, and um, they even, on the way out, they did the, we walked by the playground. We can't miss the playground. No, you can't. It, I mean. It is a whole yeah. experience. Whole experience. Um, so that's awesome. The splash pad, definitely check that out. Their tennis, their camps that are coming up, um, their adult classes, Get on their website, guys, and then go play disc golf. You have got to get on Amazon, get some disc golf. Yeah. Um, clubs, is that what you call them? Disc golf. D- discs. Discs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah <laughs> go play. I don't know what the there. equivalent there is. Yeah, I, I don't know of any place that sells them here or around here, but yeah, I mean, Amazon or, um, uh, dude, I don't even know if like Walmart. I mean, they're so particular. Yeah. Uh, and then. Um, uh, Lisa Johnson, council person in Versailles, told me the other day she's been taking her dog to the dog park out there. They've made doggy friends. Yeah, oh, cool. Doggy so there's friends. tons out there at the park. Check it out for sure. Absolutely. But, I mean, uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, just the other day, uh, if, if, if the weather would cooperate, uh, i got to take my daughter to uh, Falling Springs Outdoor Pool. She, she asked me, it was so sad. She says, Daddy, do we have any, like we were talking about water slides. Like, do we have any water slides? I'm like, oh, yeah, right down the street. We got to go. The best. So now yeah. that's all she's been talking about. So as soon as the weather gets nice and I get some time, we got to get down there. Yes. Uh, Definitely make that a priority. Because see, so like some people, so my, my mom has a pool. So they would go over there, but it's just, there's that hole, you know, like you need that different experience. Yeah. So whereas some people get that splash pass. Or if you like, oh, I don't want to get it's like three bucks to yeah. go in for a day and experience and experience stuff. I mean, just go and, and, and the concession stand. I mean, the whole thing, it's it's there, it's a wide range. There's really no excuse. We did not walk out without an ice cream for those kids. You I know. know. I mean, they had the full pool summer kids. And it's outdoor. Experience. And you say, just, just eat. I mean, they can just eat it. Yeah. And, and they just yeah. go jump in the pool. <laughs> okay, let's go. Clean it off. Yeah. Totally. Go under the thing where you pull it and the water comes down. Oh, yeah. It's like your own hose. Take yeah. A shower. <laughs> Um, I I love it because it's also the kind of zero weighted walk in. So for my two littles, they Mm -hmm. can, you know, I was standing there, but they, I felt so comfortable with them because they can touch and they're, you know, everything, everything's there. Yeah. Everything's with it. You can see there's nothing where you can't see. Mm -mm. And they can touch all the way around, you Mm -hmm. know, that's so fun. Yeah. You're making me excited. I I can't wait to go. When I go, I'll try. I'll, I'll go, I'll go live. You'll go live. You'll go down. 
I'll go. Hey, people I'll, have I'll asked me, um, was he using a GoPro when you went down the slide? Oh yeah, no. A straight so up phone. That was my phone. A new phone. Yeah, a, bra- a new phone, which is my life because I record and I it's my I'm in marketing, so that's what I do. So then I held it with a vice grip, and I when I when I got down to the bottom, I just held it up, and then. I handed the phone to Emily, who got from that angle, and I went down again and cut it together, and it looks like it's one yeah. thing. How he, cool is that? He lets me record that? sometimes. Sometimes. He, he puts me behind the camera sometimes. As long <laughs> sometimes. as I don't have that widget thing. Oh, the gimbal. Yeah, yeah. that gimbal. Mm-hmm. People ask me about that a lot, uh, but it, it's cheap, and it's a great way to, to, make, to take that footage to the next level. It's smooth, and it, it's, it's really nice. So if you're into that kind of stuff, to film filming and... And uh, any type of any, anything in that realm, uh, look into. I think it's uh, Os by Osmo. Uh, it's just like a little gimbal, and you hold it, and it and it swivels. That's thing. Yeah, it's really cool. Speaking of, because that's how you filmed this next segment, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're current. Yeah. I feel current. You feel good about that. And now we're on to Wood Fun Weekends. So we talk about there's so much to do in Woodford County mm-hmm. and <laughs> exactly um, so much to do. But one of the things, guys, is these B&Bs and Airbnbs and places to stay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You saw last week we had Amy Perry in the cabin. And there's another great Midway location we want to show you guys this week. People don't even know these things exist. Right. People come from all over to stay here mm-hmm. and you can even book it for a staycation. Yeah, some of them are on, uh, you know, Airbnb. Some aren't. So, uh, or I mean, skip all that. And I mean, it. It's just it, these Airbnbs are on, on such a next level, and they're in such a great the ambiance, and and then the amount of detail that these mm-hmm. people put into them. It's just, it's just, it's just amazing. And I can't tell you and use words right now. I just, we just have to show you a segment Let's from uh, the Woodford County Airbnb guide uh, from the Woodford Trail. Welcome to the Whiffer Trail Detour. I'm, of course, I'm Corey, your host, and we are in another beautiful Airbnb in Midway, Kentucky called the Horse Country Cottage for another installment of Whiffer County B&B Guide. Let's check this place out. We're in the main part of the house, and I mean, I could talk for days about the character here, but I'm going to be honest. I mean, it just feels like home. There's a hominess to it. Maybe that's why they called it the Horse Country Cottage, something cottagey and and, and coddling about it. Mmm, so comfortable. I mean, just experience this seclusion. I mean, you can't even see the house from here. We're just in the yard. Well, that's it for this detour and this installment of the Woodford County B&B Guide. If you want to book the Horse Country Cottage, check out the information below. Until next time, trail goers, I'll see you on the trail. Awesome. Steve Book Simoff, it. great guy, great place. Check, check. Yeah. All the things. Check, check. <laughs> uh, check, check, check it out. Love the Woodford Trail. That's a, I, I miss, we may show more. You know what? I think we will show more from the Woodford Trail. Maybe next time we'll talk Corey's about a little. getting sentimental. I, yeah, I'm getting some Going mental. down memory lane. We did a lot of fun stuff. A lot of fun uh, stuff. And now that we have this amazing platform, we've got to show you uh, kind of all the things to That's do right. around here. We do need to do that. We need to bust that back out. Done. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it now. It's uh, so we, I'll try to. Th- now it's time for the business circle. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. You took that down. Business, business circle. circle. Everybody um, gather around. 
kumbaya. <laughs> kumbaya. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, networking and kind of what you were telling this, me. This, this, uh, yeah. So, yeah, Corey asked, he said, you know, for the chamber, it's the business circle is what we call it. He's like, what's it mean? Like, is it networking? I just wanted is to make sure. It, uh, what yeah. were the other things you threw out there? And we're, but long like story short, getting together, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think networking was the big was the big thing. It's all of that, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's knowing because the more you know, then the more you can shop local and yeah. eat local and do local. Your circle of influence. You got you got all all the all yeah. the business terms and bringing people to the forefront, um, uh-huh. which is what we're talking about today. So um, we helped. This was a really exciting opening for us. We helped to celebrate the opening of Pathway, which is the memory care unit at yes. Daisy Hill this past week. Um, it is phenomenal. Corey and I did an out and about there, mm-hmm. so you guys have probably seen that. But if you didn't, um, it is now officially, they're taking people on their wait list, um, they're doing tours, and then they hope by early July. So just in a couple weeks, they are completely open. Um, but we had the opportunity to help them celebrate with a ribbon cutting um, and bring some community mm-hmm. members there. and. I mean, I'm telling you, Corey, this thing is what a good resource. Yeah, just create some awareness. You know, uh, I think a little. I mean, it's touched my life. I've had people in my in my family that's uh, had both dementia and Alzheimer's, and uh, uh, just being here and uh, going to see it and the level of care that Kelly and uh, Lori uh, are doing is is comforting. And I really wish so uh, you know this had been around. Um, you know, when, when, you know, back in the day when, when we needed it, but, but Daisy Hill senior living.com, that's where you want to go to just get information, get on that list for, I mean, I talked to Lord, talk to someone down there, uh, and you'll know exactly what, what I'm talking about. Yep. It's needed, obviously here in Woodford County. And that's all I have today. I'm going to turn it over to our wonderful judge executive, Mr. James K. Thank you, Austin. Thank you. And it's a wonderful day in Woodford County. Woodford County is open for business. And we care for all of our residents and citizens, including our seniors. Uh, We got some good people in the crowd today. My friend Joe Gravis, our former state representative is here. We have Lisa Johnson who serves on the Versailles City Council. We have the second greatest Downey around, Mr. William Downey Magistrate uh, for downtown Versailles and a lot of other good folks. And so uh, today is a a special and important day. You know, in in Woodford County, the mayors and uh, the fiscal court and the city councils we came together a couple years ago and we decided that um, age-friendly community was something that we were invested in. We have Laura Dake, who's also a member of the city council and who's headed up that age-friendly effort. And uh, as Laura knows, this is a great place to grow up, but we are working on making sure it is a great place to grow old as well. A great place to age, a great place to live and be and work and play. And that is part of what's going on today. And we couldn't do it without the leadership without the foundation here at Daisy Hill. Daisy Hill has been a wonderful, wonderful asset to our community up here on the hill, and it keeps growing and expanding, uh, gaining new residents, new jobs, new opportunities, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful place for us to have. And it wouldn't be possible without the leadership of folks like Chad Helton, who was here before, and now we have Laurie Duro, and, and Laurie has done an amazing job uh, in envisioning what Daisy Hill can be and what it can be for our community. So today's a wonderful day for Woodford County for everyone of all ages. And I'm so uh, pleased to introduce Miss Laurie Duro, uh, who heads up Daisy Hill. Thank you all for coming out today. I'm so happy to see each of you here. I'm glad the weather supported us and the timing of the season to um, be able to share with you Pathway and share with Woodford County. Pathway has been a vision of ours at Daisy Hill um, for years. It's been a conversation, it's been a goal for all of us. Um, We knew that there's a need and we know families need us beyond just assisted living. Um, After, you know, introducing the villa community, which you see on the perimeter of the property here, our independent living, um, we knew that the next phase and the next step would be to offer memory care support, special support to families and individuals who just benefit from the secure, safe environment. And so today, um, we know everyone's journey with Alzheimer's disease or related disorders um, are very different and very unique and individualized, but the pathway along the journey becomes very similar and the needs become very unique, um, somewhat challenging along the way. So to be able to bring Pathway here to support families in Woodford County and surrounding counties, 
um, and families of our own is is a gift. So again, thank you all for being with us. I'm excited to introduce my team to you um, and to be able to have you step inside and see our, our memory care unit that we're gonna be able to share and open. Um, we plan to open early July. All is going well as expected. Um, and so today we're just excited to get some footsteps in and for you to share what you're seeing in the community so people can learn more and find out more information. So today I wanna introduce um, some of our team that's instrumental in our day-to-day -day operations at Daisy Hill. Um, our builder, I guess, where's Chris? Chris Sharp <laughs> with Sharper Homes. Chris is local to Versailles community. He is our builder for our expansion of our assisted living community, all of our villas and our pathway community. So we've enjoyed having Chris around. We're not gonna let him get too far away, probably even when he's done. Um, so thanks for all you've done, I appreciate you. been with us for over a couple years. He's our facilities director here at Daisy Hill. He um, wears lots and lots of hats, as, as many of us do in our work and our, our worlds that we live in. But Eric is instrumental and has been a big support and help to me and our community as well. So thanks. Um, Toby Florence is, is over here. She is very instrumental as well to Daisy Hill, to our community as a whole the big picture of our operations and support to me for our resident care and our assisted living community. So we're excited to be able to introduce her. Um, and then our, our dynamic duo I like to introduce, <laughs> Kelly and Kayla. Um, Kayla Macy has been with us. She's not a, a foreign face to us. She was with Daisy Hill a few years back and always had a goal of hers to be able to pursue a career in nursing. So she and I talked years ago and I said when we get closer to memory care and opening, I'll, I want you to come back. And so the timing was just perfect. Her goals are in line with ours. She is passionate about caring, wonderful with staff, families, and residents. So we are lucky to have her on as one of our LPN support members. And then Kelly Pelston is our named director of nursing. She's a registered nurse, has very personalized passion for people and for dementia care. Um, she's done a lot of, of clinical work in previous life with nursing and most recently case management for families in Woodford County and Versailles. Um, very much an interest in the finesse that is necessary to care for people um, with Alzheimer's disease and related disorders. So I'm excited to introduce all of my team and I'm gonna turn it over to Kelly just to share a little bit of her passion with you today too. Thank you, Lori. I'm super excited to be here too. Um, when Lori talked to me about this job, um, the, the biggest thing was that I knew that her vision and passion lined up with my vision and passion, and that is people, purpose, and passion. Um, to provide a place where we can provide in individualized, respectful care to residents as they're aging. Um, you know, just because they, they sometimes rationalize things as a first or second grader, they still have lived lives that give them all the dignity and respect of everything else that everybody else as an adult has earned. And it's very important for, for me and my staff to work towards a very individualized perspective so that we can continue to provide them purposeful, meaningful moments, even in this phase of life. Um, thank you, Gus. Well, once again, thank you all for coming. I would love to invite you to step inside. We have some refreshments. Kelly, Kayla, myself. Um, Say Eric and Chris will be inside with us, so we'll be able to walk around, see the community on the interior itself, um, and we have a model room set up. There's some information here, so I'd love for you to have a takeaway if you know someone that would love to come see the inside as well. Talk more with myself and Kelly and Kayla. We'd love to do that. You'll see in the paper coming out next week, I believe, we'll have a couple more community tours. There'll be a lunch and learn opportunity, and then an afternoon tour that we'll be sharing next is scheduled programming for the month of June leading up to, to hopefully being able to open and serve families in July. So again, thank you. Thank you so much, Lori and the team here at Daisy Hill. What an exciting day, an exciting opportunity and a new resource here that again is so much needed. If you guys don't, I always like to remind folks, um, some of the best support that we can give local businesses is to help share the message, whether that be to tell your family, your friends, if you're on social media, to do a post today, to share where you are. 
You never know when you or your family or someone in your neighborhood may need this type of care. And Lori and her team stand ready with an interest list um, to be able to show them around, kind of give them um, what to expect here. So by all means, call Lori and her team if you guys are interested to get on the list. To find out more, um, if you have any frequently asked questions, they can answer all of those, give a tour. But most importantly, if you guys don't mind, just to give a shout out to them in whatever way you communicate with your networks. Um, it's so much appreciated to all these businesses. So we do want to invite you guys to continue to stay on. As Lori mentioned, they're going to do a tour and refreshments. But first, we are going to formally. Um, so Lori, I'll give you our big scissors here today. And if friends at Daisy Hill and at the Chamber and James would like to step up. We'll do some ribbon cutting. Come on, everybody. You guys all want to gather around? This is your chance to be in the Woodford Sun, the greatest paper around. <laughs> That's right. We have Bob and Tom here. All right, guys. If you guys can help us count down, we will dedicate it on three. Ready? One, two, three. and everybody here and as always thank you to Corey Cooley with Cool Techie Creative for making today come to you guys live um, here on Facebook thanks guys and we'll see you next time love ribbon cuttings they're so fun and they're getting better and bigger because yeah. now we're all people are coming together people are coming together <clears throat> so yeah uh out out in a boot out in a boot um so we went out early in the morning Corey. we got up early yeah it was an early it was a bright on a monday <laughs> bright eyed and bushy tail we're gonna text each other on sunday and be like don't forget <laughs> yeah um but well, it's well, so kids it's summer now so i don't have to wake up at six o'clock in the morning necessarily all the time it's not your summer break so it's, it's avery summer exactly break. <laughs> but i don't have to wake up is it so i'm excited i can yeah. wake up at you know 7 30 which is much better for me <laughs> You get up at 7.30. 7.38, yeah. What a life you live. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> no, you probably do stay up later than I do. Oh, um, yeah. Well, yeah. So, Weatherization Plus, if you guys have not heard of this business, an awesome locally owned, family owned. Actually, yes. it's so family owned. The family you guys know here. Uh, so, his family are my two next door neighbors on either yeah. side of me. We didn't make that connection until we got there. That's, that's I love like, it. He doesn't get any more Woodford County than it, that. I know. That's that's pivotal well, Woodford charm right there that's right uh it's just, it's great and uh yeah, Brian uh is, is an awesome guy got got I uh, had a, spent a lot of time with him that day got yeah. to know him a little bit really cool uh and his daughter and his and his um dad, uh, dad and, and his sister-in-law works so, oh my there. gosh yeah they all work there and it, yeah. you can see that and you can feel that because it just we're talking from the talking to the uh employees and stuff it's like uh he just he treats everybody like that so yeah. uh keeps people there and it, it gets a lot of talent i mean all those guys had been there had had been in the business for decades almost the one guy moved from um pennsylvania i think philadelphia it, it, somewhere in pennsylvania to come for that job wow. he brought his family here his wife and his kid well, bring the family here and move here because we want to thank Rector Hayden Versailles. That's right. And uh, Republic State Mortgage, Becky Baldwin. Uh, you got to see her. Talk to an agent. Bring your family. Come work here. Work and what's that? What's it? Work, eat, and play. What's, yeah. What's the what's the, the thing? Yeah. The, the, the trifecta there. So so yeah. Weatherization Plus, man. Uh, great company and uh, work, live, and play. Work, live, and play. Yeah. yeah. What I say. Work, eat, and play. <laughs> that would be on your mind. Well, <laughs> I mean, mine. I mean, oh, whatever. Um, yes, work, live, and play, which is where Becky and Rector Hayden Versailles come in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can help you to live, and then we have the quality of life. Um, yes. But this business, Weatherization Plus, you guys, is perfect for homes because – as you're looking for your home and you're thinking, hey, I might need an inspection. Hey, I, you know, and then an inspection, you go through the crawl space. And as you've said, like, there's creepy crawlers. There's all types of things. Not These people yeah. can make it just pristine and they eliminate all the moisture. And what he was saying was moisture is like the number one killer yeah. for health oh, of a house. Oh, oh, yeah, totally. It's it's an agent's dream uh, to uh, to look at this and know the crawl space is bone dry down there it's amazing uh you, you're gonna have to take a look guys uh thanks for watching the show we want to remind you if you if you if you liked the if you've liked our facebook and you're a part of our facebook group 
uh, tell someone else to do it, like us, and get on Facebook and rate us. We'd you can actually it. rate Thank us you. as well Thank on you. Facebook. So that just helps us help you. Shameless plug. That's right. Shameless Thank plug. You. Jerry Maguire. Thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. See you Thanks next time. What's up, Woodford? We are here today on Frankfurt Street at Weatherization. I'm here with owner Brian Paget. Mr. Brian, tell us, what are we watching today on a Monday morning, 7 a.m.? Your guys are getting ready. What's happening behind us? So every morning we have about eight trucks that go out to all places around central Kentucky. Um, so, and what we're doing is we're just loading the trucks, getting, getting everything ready for whatever particular jobs we have today. Uh, whether it be installing insulation or doing crawl space encapsulations on houses, uh, replacing doors, replacing windows, stuff like that. So weatherization, I know you and I have talked about this and you said some people always ask, what do we actually do? Can you tell our viewers what you guys do and how you can help them? Sure, so we specialize on kind of existing homes. People who are having problems with their home, whether they're having um, cold rooms, hot rooms, high energy bills. They can't quite figure out what's going on with their house. So we go out and we do a uh, home evaluation, which is free to the customer. And every house is different. So we try to figure out, okay, what's going on with your home? Why are your energy bills high? And what can we do to fix it? So it's not just a, uh, an insulation issue. A lot of times it's not insulation at all. So what we try to do is make a house work to where the insulation can actually do its job. That is such a fantastic reminder because I do think so many people think, oh, it's just the insulation, but it could be a lot of other things which your guys can help determine, right? It can be. It can be a lot of other things. It could be uh, duct work that's not uh, uh, performing properly. Um, it could be a crawl space that um, is directly connected to the house. So. Uh, that cold air is coming in from the crawl space. There's a lot of different issues other than insulation that could be causing it. And talk a little bit, today is a rainy Monday. You talked a little bit about, you know, weather and moisture and how that moisture can not only mold wood in crawl spaces, but also it could, you know, contribute to the air that you're breathing in the house. Right. So, it, look, for instance, a crawl space is a damp, dark, uh, musty atmosphere that uh, is really not good for the health of the house. So... Um, and especially when you have duct work, for instance, in the crawl space and the air is uh, very humid, so that actually contributes to the moisture in the crawl space as well. So what we like to do is we, to, to fix this problem is to transform, transform that crawl space into a healthy, dry atmosphere to where the house can last longer, can increase the house's resale value, and uh, improve the health of the people inside the house. Absolutely. And we're going to take you through a crawl space later today because a crawl space is typically somewhere most people don't want to be, right? No, no, they do not. <laughs> um, for a lot of reasons, spiders, other creepy crawlers, um, but the fact that it's also just kind of a smaller space as well. So, okay, tell us, you have, you're located right here in Woodford County, right here downtown Frankfurt Street. You have been since early 2000s, and this is a family affair. Can you talk about your business model and why that culture and why Woodford County is so important? Sure. So we've been in business since 2009. Um, me, me and a high school buddy, Tim Daly, uh, we started the company together. And uh, we dove in and struggled for a couple years and really tried to make it work. And then we got some breaks. And uh, we went from one employee to about 28 employees now. Uh, just in a matter of a few years and uh, over time as we needed to uh, add people to the company it just worked out to where my daughter Josie came to work for us and uh, and then the next thing you know my mother's working with us and um, so dad was looking for something so dad's with us now and my sister-in-law Sandy Paget she works she's a very important part of our company she works in the office and and uh, takes care of our customers in our appointment center that's awesome yeah. that is such a cool thing to have here not only family owned and operated and run um, but to be right here in Woodford County but you not only serve Woodford County you serve surrounding counties as well we want to cover all the counties around uh, Versailles and Lexington um, so we will travel as far as Richmond uh, 
uh, Mount Sterling. Uh, we go to Louisville every day. Uh, and uh, we also are involved in a, a program with the utility company, and which, you know, today we might be in Paducah, Kentucky, and tomorrow we might be all the way in eastern Kentucky in Pineville. That's awesome. Um, so guys, if you're watching from somewhere else, you're not in Woodford County, you can call these folks, Weatherization Plus, right here in Woodford County. They will come to you. You heard Brian, free consultation, consultation so you can check it out, you can see what's happening, and then they can diagnose your problems and, and help give you a plan of action to remedy that. So Brian, do you think we should now go to the crawl space? Check that, check that out? Yeah, Put I spent yesterday work. getting it ready for you, so let's go out there. All right, let's do it. Thanks, Emily. Uh, so, oh. Brian transported here. Uh, we were under <laughs> where uh, we came straight from from uh, weatherization. So uh, I edited it together. So it seems like we we transported here. We are underneath. This is your house, right? Right, Brian. This is my house. Yes. So uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm going to flip this around and show you all. Uh, we showed a little bit uh, earlier in the show, but I want to flip this around and show you. Look at look at the. I mean, it's it's pretty. It's a pretty wet day, and it's dry as a bone down here. It's beautiful, white, clean. I mean, he's got the lights. I mean, it's it's a this is this is immaculate. So what did all uh, what all did you do down here, Brian? Well, this house showed a lot of damage, uh, wood rot, and the crawl space just had been wet for years and years. Okay. And uh, so there was mold and uh, there was wood rot, and basically what we did is we first of all we repaired the areas that need to be repaired. Okay. And then we came in with this product. It's, this is called a crawl space encapsulation. And what it does is it separates all forms of moisture. So you've got ground moisture, you've got uh, wall seepage, and you've got air moisture, humidity in the summertime. And so what this does is it closes off all the ventilation and it protects the crawl space and the house from any forms of moisture which gives you a much healthier house for for the longevity of the house and for the people who live inside it. it that sounds healthier. I mean, you can tell, you can see the rust kind of on the beam there. Right. Uh, what's that What's that over there, that, that device there? You're... So that's the last part of the puzzle. There's always gonna be moisture that remains in the crawl space, in the wood. <laughs> and so we put a dehumidifier in nice. as part of the process just to go ahead and draw the existing moisture out of the out of the wood and just as a backup if there is any moisture down there it takes care of it rock on well you heard it here this is perfect uh i mean this is super nice and i mean you could literally have a you could have like a party down here it feels great it's like <laughs> you don't feel like uh hot or clammy i mean it is very cool and nice down here so so i'll, I'll give you one quick quick look again just to i mean look at this i mean this is something else I mean, all, every, all the um, insulation's up here nice and tight. I mean, that's, I mean, that's what you're also looking for when you're, uh, you know, selling or, or buying a house. One of the things inspectors come down and look is to see if there's any, any insulation uh, 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 peeking down or coming down or falling down. And all this is nice and neat and put up. So Right. And also, yeah. also the walls, that's an extra... Oh yeah, look at that. That's an extra two inches of insulation actually on the coldest spot oh. in the crawl space, which is the foundation wall. So that adds another R value to the crawl space. Look at that. You can see it right there. And look, it's all sealed up. Beautiful, beautiful. Brian, thank you so much for bringing me down here. I was Thank you. I didn't know what to expect. I heard it going in a crawl space. I was like, I'm Emily sends me on the dirty jobs, but this is clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's well, pretty cool. All right, guys, that's it for us. What's up, Woodford? See you next time.